Thank you for having me, EBS. Due to COVID restrictions in China, I cannot be with you in person today, but I'm still very excited to take this opportunity to talk to you about development of China smart EV market, as well as what we see on the ground of the market development and transformation. Are Chinese EV makers raising a hand or just catching up? And what do you think are the reasons behind this huge growth of Chinese EV markets? Well, I have to say we're catching up because we're not the first one to start making EVs. Uh, but we're catching up very fast because if you look at the uh, EV products today in China, we're already showing technologically very innovative features that's even better than some of the global peers. Uh, the reason that we are doing that faster than others is because we have a vast market. A lot of our consumers expect quick, rapid innovation. At the same time, I think the companies are doing a great job in consolidating some of the leading technologies in their products. In the past, uh, a lot of these development has been driven by government-driven policies on subsidies and other supports. But recent years actually start to see that consumers start to recognizing the characteristics, the beauty, and the innovation coming from a small EV product. So that's why in China, the EV penetration in the last 18 months has risen very rapidly. We're now at a over 25% penetration for new car sales, which are electric vehicles or new energy vehicles in China. And that is much faster than anyone has predicted two years ago. So it seems to be a fierce race in the market. So what is today's EV race truly about? Well, in the beginning, I would say uh, it will be focused on quality product. Um, we all have to deliver that to our customers. But in the long run, I think there's a couple areas that uh, for a smart EV needs to be really differentiating. First of all, on the electrification side, you have to do a great job to make sure your EV product is competitive, has the right range, right charging. Uh, and then on top of it, I think uh, even greater differentiation will come from the smartification side of the product, which means that you have smarter cockpit, uh, voice control interactions with the driver, at the same time also autonomous driving features in your production vehicle. So what do you think is the key drivers that distinguish a Chinese EV brand from other giant names? Well, I think it's the quality of a product and also the innovation of features uh, that our consumer market has developed. I think uh, the Chinese consumer market has a very quick innovation cycles. Uh, just look at the smartphone or the internet apps. Chinese market actually has been doing very, very well in terms of progressing on those innovation. Similarly, for smart EVs, uh, Chinese products should show high degree of smart features. For example, we all use voice control in our products. Uh, we hardly touch any buttons on dials in our cockpit. Uh, we use navigation much more broadly than what's available on your phone. And also at the same time, I think the ability to have the vast content available to inside the vehicle is very differentiating compared to global products. So what can we expect next, for example, one specific technology? What can we expect next from this booming you know, EV market or industry? Yeah, well, if you look at how we develop our products, we want to make sure uh, at every product we have some new things to offer to our customers. For example, when we first sold our G3, our first product, we had a camera on the top of the vehicle, which is very, very interesting. Brand new experience for our drivers that really captures users' imagination what this is about. You can use it to do things that traditional autos does not do. Our second product, P7, beautifully designed, very smart. It will have the longest driving range of all the products in China at the time. And now we're entering a stage that we can actually proudly say that we're developing world-leading charging technologies uh, for fast charging. We will have the, one of the smartest architecture for smart driving. Uh, with aut autonomous features that can be seen in production vehicles. And our next product, G9, uh, the SUV that we're gonna introduce to the market, will have you know, one of the fastest charging platform available to any production vehicle. At the same time, we will have the smartest autonomous driving architecture feature, both hardware and software, 
in a production vehicle. So we're very excited about introducing these innovations to consumers. Great. And then we are so happy to you know, hear about this innovation on your product. So let's you know, take a look at the European market. So what is Xpan's commitment to customers in the European markets? Well, European market is a very important market to us because we believe that uh, technological innovation uh, that we have invested heavily should be made available to global customers, not just Chinese customers. And Europe obviously is a leading market in the EV race. Uh, it is one of the largest and also is one of the more, more mature. It has very good infrastructure for charging and you know, the driver awareness is very high. Uh, so we want to make sure we do a good job in the European market. But it's a, also a longer term commitment for us because we recognize we're a young company. Uh, we have to take slowly, you know, we have to make sure that our product uh, has the right features to fit the market. So we have a multi-year plan to introduce products and technologies to the European market and to build up our capabilities and brand on the ground.